Hi, Rosie. Let's get your serve all fixed up. Your swing itself is doing great. Your grip is good. Your motion is continuous. And I, I like your little abbreviated motion. Everything looks good. Your feet move around a little bit sometimes, but I think that's really has a whole lot to do with the toss arm and maybe a little bit of confidence. So let's attack the toss arm and, and get that moving. So I mentioned in my email specifically how to hold the ball, but I'm gonna show you. So basically you want a, a flat hand and a straight arm. Hopefully you can see that. And I'm gonna place the ball just across the front seams of my fingers. I'm gonna put my thumb over the top. You notice my arm is straight, it's not rigid, but it's straight. And I have my wrist laid down a little bit, like this. That'll make the ball, when I toss, it'll make it go forward. If your hand is like this, or your fingers are curled, the ball's always gonna go behind you. So we don't want that. We want the ball to go forward so that you can go up and, and go after it every single time, all right? So the other part of this is that your arm acts like a lever and the entire toss comes from uh, the, the shoulder, not from your elbow, not from your wrist or anything like that. So basically, your toss arm is gonna do this kind of action. I don't know if you can see my ball, but it is traveling, except for that one, traveling straight up and down without any spin and without any arc. So we'll do a little bit more on that later. But you notice that my hand kind of pops open when I go to release. Watch carefully. Watch my hand. Right, I'm not doing any flipping off the fingers. My hand's just popping open and you notice that my shoulder ends up right up underneath my chin each time. So that's gonna be important in putting everything together for your, for your serve, all right? So let's go from okay, there. So the next thing we've got is where do we want the ball toss to go? That's gonna be forward of you for now. For all your flat and your slice serves, we're not talking about a kick, we're talking about a flat or a slice. We want the ball forward of you and in front of your right shoulder, all right? So I put my racket down on the ground and I'm putting it off of my left toe, my front foot, and I'm pointing it towards the right net post. And this will be the same for the deuce court or the add court. And when I go to toss, I generally want the ball toss to land on that racket face. You may already know this, but I want to go through my toss motion and get it to land on the racket face. I did it. So that's a good way to be able to tell whether your toss is at least going in the right direction or not. If it's arcing right, left, or forward, back, which is common, the ball will come and hit you on the head or it'll land over to the left. And that's usually because your fingers are bent, so then you go back to the first thing that we did. Okay. So your action with your toss arm needs to be very, very specific. And uh, so I'm just gonna go through what that is. So you're gonna hold it properly, straight arm. And it's not all just about uh, tossing the ball up. That's only the first part of what you need to, to do on a serve. That's just the basic, I'm gonna get the ball in the air. But we wanna do three things with it. We want to get the ball placed in the right place. We wanna set a good shoulder angle. And we wanna use that left arm to pull quickly out of the way so that it actually starts to rotate you around so your hitting side can come through very quickly. Okay, so what it's gonna look like is this, I'm gonna do it without a ball, but I'm gonna to toss up, right? And here you can see my shoulder angle. Right, my left shoulder is higher than my right. I have released the ball at this point. And then when I go to up to hit, before I go with my hit arm, this arm is gonna do this. You notice how it's my elbow is bending and it's bringing me around? And I'm gonna finish over here someplace, okay? Like this. In the meantime, then right behind this is gonna follow the hit, all right? So you notice my right hip too, that's going right before, slightly before the left arm goes, or we can say with it, like this. So this is an action you're gonna practice doing. Notice that this actually kind of looks like it's lifting me up. It's not, if I use a straight arm, it's gonna pull me down. Or if I don't use this arm productively at all, basically I'm gonna push, okay? This arm kind of gets wrapped up here and it doesn't help me rotate quickly. So I wanna be here and use this side as much as this side. Use your left side, as much as your right side and you're gonna to start to get it, okay? So the way you're gonna practice that is first with, just like I'm doing, without a ball, without a racket, nothing else. Just start to get this, what this feels like and have this hand end up around your hip someplace here each time. Then you're gonna use your total serve and this is really a great way to practice this. Right now, when you use your total serve, it looks like this and you watch my finish only on this, okay? Watch. 
See how it got to here and then it looped back up and around? Let's do it again. And you notice my left arm is just kind of hanging and doing nothing for me. And it's also not going up very high. Okay, so we want to fix that. The way you're going to fix it is you're going to go through your motion and you can start here sort of as an abbreviated. I'll do it from this angle so you can see. And basically I want you to toss up, get this arm out of the way, have it here already in advance of the total start getting there. And I want you to catch it on the middle of the cord, okay? Just like this. All right, so I'm not having to look down here. In the beginning, maybe you'll have to look. So you can go through it nice and slowly and you can take a look and catch it into your hand. And then eventually, you're gonna be able to do this whole motion and just know that this is where your arm is. You have to know where all the body parts are. They have to know what their job is in the serve in order for it to work. So that's the job of, of this tossing arm. Toss up, set shoulder angle, get out of the way fast, and be in a certain place because we want this the serve to kind of slam to the finish. We want it to go boom and make a big stop and now we move on to our next thing as opposed to, right? That's not very effective. That's not what you're gonna do when you serve and it will definitely translate. So gotta get on the total serve with that. Then you can go to your racket with the same thing. And instead of going to your racket after the total serve when you're practicing with it, whether it's for your swing or your toss, never go with the full hand. Just go then with two fingers. So hopefully you can see this. I only have two fingers on there and my thumb and these bottom two fingers are balled up underneath the base of the racket, okay? So it's gonna be really uncontrollable. If you really feel brave, do it with one finger on your thumb. That's what I did when I was a kid. And they actually had a serving like this because the racket is then uncontrollable and it's real floppy and loose, right? Like this, sort of like the total serve where you can't, you can't manhandle it. You can't, you can't make it do anything. You just have to get it set on a path, which is what we want for the serve. So we do it with two fingers and you can see how loose that looks. All the links in my arms, that's, this is a link and this is a link. They're all really loose. All my joints are loose. So then we can go three fingers, we can go full hand and you want it to feel exactly the same. And you notice that my serve is two speeds. It's not one, one speed all the way through. Notice that this is the same speed all the way through. We're looking for a slow and then we're looking for a go. We're looking for a slow and a go, right? So it's continuous motion, but it's not the same speed continuous motion. Otherwise, you're never going to get any acceleration. Okay, so that's a lot of information already. So you've got what you need to do to practice your toss, right? You're going to set your racket up, practice your toss, um, make sure it's going in the right place. Practice the parts of the toss where you're going to be going up and learning that, okay, this goes here and this goes here and then the racket follows into it and you can practice it without hitting a ball, right? And then eventually, maybe we hit a ball, right? Maybe we take this ball and we hit it and we're going to go to here and you notice that this is going to be my finish and then I'm going to grab onto the racket and go. With the total serve, you want to swing that right into your hand since it's flexible. And that'll train your body to do the right thing. All right, so let's get on to your, your hit part. Okay, so let's talk about your um, hitting hand now. Your grip is good. We need to loosen up the grip. Make it really, really loose on here because otherwise it tenses up your whole arm and your joints, your wrist, and your elbow, and your shoulder, they all need to stay very fluid and flexible throughout the serve, just like every other stroke. And if you tighten up here, they all tighten up. So we're gonna need to be nice and loose. A really huge part of the serve is that your wrist has to be completely flexible. It does a lot of the work for you on the serve. Yours isn't really moving enough. You're almost there, but it's not quite enough. So when you go to serve, it looks a little bit like this when you go to hit and you notice my wrist and my forearm and everything is coming towards you and my wrist is still solid and now I'm finishing with the tip of the racket to the ground. And what we're looking for is, this is the middle of the serve, we're looking for this action where I'm going to swing up and now my arm sort of stays still here and the racket head is back behind, you see it back here? And now from here, it's gonna go over here by use of my forearm and my wrist and my hand, okay? 
So it's going to do this action. But you notice my arm isn't swinging like this. My arm isn't going, full arm isn't going anywhere. My arm is up, my racket head is back, and it's traveling over this way by means of my forearm and my wrist. That's critical for your serve. That. So the drill I want you to practice doing is, I saw you doing it on one of your videos, and we want to refine that just a little bit, is when you go to hit your ball, we're going to start you in abbreviated motion, so that means your racket's going to be back here. When you go to hit your ball, after you contact, I want you to stop right here. So you see my hand is still way up high in the air, and my racket head is over. Right? So it's going to be this action. We're not going to finish all the way down here. Okay? So here's what it looks like from the back. So hopefully you can see that. And we're just trying to get this, not hit it hard, but just develop this action. Because that's sort of what you're missing right now. And as soon as you start to feel that, you're going to be, your serve is going to change completely. So doing that same thing with the total serve is very, very helpful. Where you can just get in abbreviated here. And we're going to try and go through the motion and just make this stop. And if you can't make it stop, because you may not be big enough or strong enough to make it stop yet, still I want you to start to feel what this, what this is like. The, the balls on the end, the weighted end, kind of lagging behind, way behind here, and then it finishes forward. And you can finish with your hand a little further over, but I really want you to feel that end flipping over. Flipping over the top. Okay? So you can see my arm is staying very still, but the ball end is going in a full arc around. Okay? So try and feel that when you're using your tone serve. Practice it. Let the weighted end do the work for you and really exaggerate moving your wrist with it and then you'll start to get it. Then you can try and translate it to your racket. I think that's about enough. It's actually probably more than enough. Um, your feet are good most of the time. I think they start to wander when your toss goes off. So we fix the toss, we fix the feet. Just remember your left foot, which is your front foot, is never going to move during the serve until after you've hit the ball. Okay? So if you find that you're shuffling around, just don't hit that ball and, and nail your feet back down to the ground. Your right foot can move. You can make a little shift, it can move around a little bit, but not the front foot because that's your power driver up, so it needs to be nice and solid on the ground. Okay? I think we've covered it all for now. So you practice a little bit and then I want to see how you're improving and we'll keep going and, and get you the serve that you want. Okay, good luck.